Slave 1, the fire spray class gunship, once owned by the legendary Django Fett, now owned by the legendary Boba Fett. It's time to unbox this iconic vehicle. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to the Imperial Outpost. If this is your first time, thanks very much for stopping by. So, here we have in this box, the Book of Boba Fett Slave One. Let's get this unboxed. So, here we have the legendary Slave One Fire Spray Class Gunship. This is from the Book of Boba Fett, as I stated earlier. So it's all been upgraded. So let me show you what we've got on the box. Okay, so there you can see a nice depiction of Jabba's palace where Boba Fett had left her from the end of Return of the Jedi. Nice picture of the ship there. And also you've got a picture of Boba Fett himself and um, Fennec in the, in the corner there. Although this doesn't come with, with Fennec, it comes with Boba Fett himself there. Okay, go to this side and now you can have a closer detail of the ship itself. Looking quite awesome, I must admit. Uh, some nice, nice detailing on the side there. Okay, uh, basically the same on, on, on this side as well. There we go, same there. And it obviously states uh, that uh, it's from the, the, the vintage collectibles. Okay, uh, so that's that's basically the box. There we go, that's, that's the side bit there. One there. So let's crack on and get this awesome ship out. Okay, so as you can see, it's very well nicely packaged in the box there. So we get a nice set of instructions there. Okay, of how to uh, put the ship together. Okay, so that's everything out of the box. So let's uh, let, let, let's let's go through this. So the main body of the slave one itself. This thing is huge. This is going to be the biggest vehicle that uh, in uh, in my collection. I don't have any slave ones at the moment. Well, I, I do I, I have a small little die cast one. Um, but apart from that, this this is the first slave one ship that I've really got. And the detailing on the back there is just absolutely awesome. Look at that. Now, I'll throw a picture up of the Empire Strikes Back uh, vehicle and you will see the difference between this and the Empire Strikes Back. I'll, I'll, I'll add the um, uh, both both vehicles up, and you can see the differences. This obviously round here, you've got um, blue, where that was uh, reddish before, and up there, yellow. But the detail in here is just absolutely awesome. You know, uh, if you if you're going to get a model. Um, you might as well spend a little bit of money and, and, and get something like this because it is absolutely awesome. The detailing on this is just incredible. Okay, so that's the main body. We have the wing part here, both sides. 
okay and they do some nice weathering on here i can say on the previous model the empire strikes back one uh this was uh yellow okay there um uh, again, I'll, I'll put a picture up to show you the difference on, on that side, but this is what I mean about the uh, paintwork. They've, they've upgraded the paintwork on this, and I've got to say, it, it's really good, all weathered. I guess because it's been sitting in Boba Fett's palace for a while, it's going to be having some weather to it anyway. Okay, so there, obviously we've got the canopy there and stickers there as well and it comes with two seismic charges okay and these actually fit on the button there and then there's a little button on the side there that you press to release the charges which is great and even the detailing on these charges is really 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 good the guns, they are quite weathered as well. I, I do like the look of them guns. Yeah, uh, as you can see, quite nicely weathered. And we have a Boba Fett himself in his Tantooine look. Okay, uh, that's him there which is great. It's nice for them to actually give you a figure with, with this one. The previous model, Empire Strikes Back 1, didn't supply you with a figure. Why? I, I, I really don't know. Because um, it just means you've, you, you've, you've got to go and buy yourself another figure. So I, I can, uh, uh, for now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to store him in the ship. But I am looking out for uh, Book of Boba Fett, one in his armour, then I will then store him in his armour in there and this will go into my collection. But for now, he will go in the ship. Comes with a gaffy stick as well. And his rifle there. Now, why I decided to go for this this one, the Book of, Book of Boba Fett, as opposed to the Empire Strikes Back one, is this one comes with a stand. And that, for me, uh, basically sealed the deal. This, incidentally, can be used on the previous model. So if you do have a previous model, then you can use this stand on it if, if, if you buy uh, an, another one. So that that's nice, but yeah, having the stand, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So let's go through the instructions and get this together. Okay, so there we are, that's the ship put together. Now, we do have these decals here that will go on inside. But on the stand, that fits really nicely on the stand there, as you can see. That's the back part, and she just slots in there nice. 
and this this thing is massive. It's it's such a great great addition to my collection. These guns at the front here, they do fire, and to fire them, you've just got a little button on on the back there. Wee, and she goes quite a long way. Okay, so I've adjusted the light so you can have a look inside. So here, you can see some nice details in there. Incidentally, some of these stickers do go inside there and the top doesn't come off. I'm not gonna do that now, I'll, I'll do that later, but it's gonna be a bit fiddly, so just be careful. You don't have to put them on there, but as, as I've got them, I, I, I think they need to go in. So it's really nice, nicely detailed in there. And the good thing about it is you can actually stand someone in there, which is great. Okay. So that's that. And then if we look at the back, we have the ramp that comes down. Okay. So the ramp comes down there, as you can see, there we go. You can't um, put really nothing in there. I mean, this, this won't fit in there. This part actually does fit in this storage unit down the bottom here. Top here, let me have a look. There we go. So that part comes down. That then is designed to sit up there. Storage out the way. Like that. So that's that's nice putting that in there. Shame. Can't go through there, but nevertheless. As I say, detailing on this is is, is 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 fantastic. I may do some more weathering to this. I don't know. Um, I quite like it the way it is. It, it, it's just an awesome, awesome ship. This by far is the best ship in my um, collection out of the ships that I have. I've always been a fan of uh, Boba Fett ever since I saw him in in the first three trilogies that came out and yeah having this ship in my collection is fantastic what a what an absolutely awesome ship this is so there we are guys the book of Boba Fett slave one starship Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, leave me some comments as well, or what, 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 whether you like the ship or not, or what's your favourite ship. That would be great. But yeah, so thanks very much everybody for watching. Take care, and until the next video, long live the Empire.